Hi, I'm Lee Robinson, and I'm here with Kenneth Doran, and we're here to talk about this man, the man, the myth, the legend. And I guess the first question I have for Ken is, why do you like picking your nose and putting it on other people's clothes? Um, it's actually a medical condition I have uh, known as uh, nasalophilia, um, where basically uh, I feel a strong compulsion of a medical basis where uh, I want to extract any kind of mucus from my nose and wipe it on uh, on anybody ne nearby people. Um, so so it's diagnosed. It's untreatable, though, unfortunately. I just have to deal with it, you know. And so to have that, how does that affect your family dynamic with your three fathers? It causes a great strain on uh, our relationship. Brian... Uh, George and Norm, my three fathers, um, have been really great to me all through. Oh yeah, audience question. Audience question. So when you classify the daddy long leg species as yep. spiders, what is the differentiation within the social economic standard between the two? Good so question. Good question. So this is getting very political now. If you go down to Ballymun and some of the rougher areas, what you might call ghettos, that's where you would find the daddy long legs. But if you go to the nicer areas, you would find, you know, your tarantulas, your Australian bird-eating spiders, your uh, money spiders, money spiders, money spiders yeah. and um, political and economic divide between the two kinds of people. And it's really based on trivial things. Leg length, would you believe? The shorter legs are seen as a higher status. Yeah? Yeah. What's the highest legs you've seen? Like the longest legs? Um, m my great grandfather, Johnny Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> how, how, how high or long were they? S 17 feet. 17 feet. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, you, you said se 17 feet. Uh, 17 feet? S 17 feet, you said, yeah. <laughs> I did, yes. Um, which he was, he was quite tall, but I think that helped promote his public figure. What was his public figure? Uh, that he was the man who was going to end the daddy long leg slavery. And he do that with his legs? Uh, no, but you know, uh, you know, you ever hear, you know, you stand on the soapbox? No. No, you, you stand on a box. Oh, and yeah. Hear, yeah, he didn't need one. He was, he was <laughs> tall enough. Another question from the audience. Oh, audience question. Oh, audience, go. When you say having shorter legs is seen as a higher status position, what about if you lose legs? Yeah, like you. Like you. You, you have nubs now. Um, well, that's that's actually an interesting thing. So, if you go back to Ballymun, uh, spelt with an I, the planet, um, uh, although we're quite progressive now, up until only recently, we had uh, like sanatoriums where we just offload anyone who didn't fit the normal standards. So, spiders with missing legs, uh, you know, uh, short legs are good, but short pincers are bad. They'd be in these asylums. Castaways, really. Very sad. Um, spider bedlam, uh, we called it. <laughs> question, question for the audience. Where would they put these impacts? They would, they, they would, they would leave them in rooms um, with little to no supervision, chained up like prisoners when all they needed was, you know, uh, psychological help or, uh, you know, counselling. It was a very, very sad period in our time. I can't believe you asked that. Uh, what's the capital of Ballymun? Bally Fermat. <laughs> <laughs> Spelt with a Y. What, oh. what? No, no, no. Hey, where, where's the Y? <laughs> just, uh, at the start, it's the silent Y. Silent Y, okay. Mialy Fermat. Mialy Fermat. Okay. Mialy Fermat, yeah. <laughs> Are there any, any more questions? Um, I was just wondering if you have any funny anecdotes about, like, you know, your time as a mixed race on this planet, you know? Um, like like you know, has there been any times you take your top off and she sees the or he sees the nubs, you know, stuff like that. I think it's clinically supposed to be mixed species. Mixed species. Mixed Sorry, species. I apologise. I like for clarification. I said mixed species there. Um, yeah. No. Well, when I was when I was a young man, uh, seven years old in Earth years, but by then I had lived a thousand lifetimes. <laughs> I was. Um, I was entering the gestation stage of my people's lifespan. I, I was trying to settle down with it with a woman, but my my physical 
my physical appearance was very off-putting for her. Why is that? Uh, nubs? Uh, but because of nubs and because I had the body of a child. But the mind, but the mind, the mind of a man who has seen empires rise and fall. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it didn't work out, you know, he went on a few dates and uh, it, just, it just didn't go anywhere. Did she know you were a tranchalon or did she just know you were a seven-year-old? <laughs> she, she knew I was a seven-year-old. I'll say that. How do you... I do, I do this question. Um, we do uh, like web spinning classes. Like, um, do you ever see that film Ghost? Yeah. Yeah, where like they make the pottery in in on our planet. We have Spider Ghost, where they weave webs. <laughs> they weave webs together. Uh, so that's that's like the cliche. Everyone wants to have their spider ghost moment where they, you know, reach around and like, you know, web each other. Um, other than that, you know, uh, crawls along walls. Oh, uh, audience member. Uh, uh, so what's the most, um, what's the most realistic interpretation in Hollywood uh, of an arachnid? Um, I don't know how long you've been here. Probably. been here a lifetime. Yeah, I've been here a, th a, th a thousand lifetimes. Um, I would have to say eight-legged freaks. <laughs> it would took a harsh, honest look at my people, and uh, it painted them in a light which maybe wasn't very flattering. But you know, spider, goddamn it, it was it was honest. Spider. Oh. Uh, question the audience. Uh, audience. When you say that their interpretation was bad, then what are your overall thoughts for interpretations in mass media productions such as Spider-Man in previous three generations from Tobey Maguire up to Tom Holland? Well, that's oddly Cultural, cultural appropriation. It's it's taking from the spider people what they perceive as cool or you know hip, and using it for their own commercial capitalistic gains. I did. I mention that that the spider homeworld is is uh, strictly communist. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes. We've got more audience over there. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to say of of those films um spider people come on in come on, come on in. in come on join the show join the club, join the club. Question, question question from the audience uh no i think spiders are grossly underrepresented in films today All I'll say is, at the moment, they're allegations. I don't want to. I don't want to comment. He hasn't been accused. He hasn't been proven of anything. He's only been accused of webbing certain individuals um, and inseminating egg sacs without consent. Yeah. Right, audience member. Yeah. Like, what about like just general in the broad audience? You know, broadly speaking, how is are they represented in a general scale? I will say, Sir David Attenborough is the greatest menace to the spider people of Ballymon that has ever lived. He is continually misrepresented our people. He has put us down. He has cast a shadow on the bright light that is the spider people of Ballymon. For too long, and um, you cast away. <laughs> um, that's that's the way of the spiders. That's the way of the spiders. I you know, I I I won't comment on the Hindu people, the Arab people, their their cultures, their traditions are their own. The spider people have a rich tradition of inseminating egg sacs. And that's, you know, I'm proud of my heritage. I'll stand up and I'll say, this is the tradition I've come from.